Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about Recall, the new AI feature that is coming up in Windows 11 24H2, initially on the Copilot Plus PCs that Microsoft has announced. And later on, of course, I think Microsoft will try to implement this new AI feature on every system. For those of you who don't know, this new AI feature is basically a feature that will record or take snapshots of your computer constantly, if you have it enabled, of course, and you're going to be able to search in the history of your device chronologically, and AI will be able to search within images or text. Basically, you're going to be able to see everything that you've done on your PC in the past three months, let's say, as default. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the new things that we found out about this new AI feature. And if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. A quick reminder, basically, the new Recall AI feature has some minimum requirements. First of all, it needs a Copilot Plus PC, 16 gigabytes of RAM, a logical processors and 256 gigabytes of storage capacity and you're going to need at least 50 gigabytes of storage space to enable this and with 25 gigabytes of storage you can save up to three months approximately. Now these are of course the minimum requirements but people such as Albacore on Twitter have managed to enable recall on unsupported devices at first only on ARM64 devices that don't have any NPU technology or anything like that. So I think in the near future it will be possible to enable AI recall on every computer but I'm not sure that a lot of people would want to do that. And also as published by Tom Warren on Twitter, we now have the official OB section of Recall. So basically this is whenever you're installing your Windows 11 operating system on a Copilot Plus PC. And as you can see, first things you've seen with Recall, Windows now captures snapshots of your screen every second. Recall preview can search them to find things you've seen, documents, images, websites, and more. Recall helps you search in new ways, describe what you're looking for using everyday words, for example, giraffe eating leaves. Recall also lets you quickly scroll through a timeline of your snapshots. You're in control of your privacy. Your snapshots data is stored on your PC to help keep it secure, to delete or stop saving screenshots anytime. Go to settings. You can also control which apps and websites appear in your snapshots. One thing that I don't like about this is that you cannot disable it right from the setup. You don't have any option. You just have the option to open settings after setup completes so I can manage my recall preferences. So I think this is a middle option because they give you an option that lets you know you can control the recall preferences. But of course, in that setting, section you can disable recall if you don't want it and this is how the new settings section will look with recall and snapshots if you haven't seen it yet and basically you're going to be able to turn this off the section save snapshots let windows take snapshots of your screen and save them on your pc you will also have the option to pause snapshots if you don't want them at a particular time of course you also have the filter list where you can filter apps or websites but in my opinion microsoft needs to do some more work security wise because as other users found on twitter it is pretty simple for a hacker for someone remote to get all the information about your system and that information that was saved up by recall can contain passwords so i think that is pretty dangerous so basically these are some new things that we now know about recall the fact that it can most likely be enabled on any computer also the new oob section that doesn't necessarily allow you to disable it but allows you to open settings right after the setup and also the security concerns are pretty big so of course i'm looking forward to your opinion in the comments below please state yours in the section under the video and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was Emmanuel from techbase until next time have a nice day